Hi, this is Felipe from User Getting. Do you want to present your onboarding material in an easy to navigate and organized way to your users? The resource centers are what you're looking for. In this video, I will show you how to create one. To get started, you only need to go to the resource center tab on your dashboard and click the new resource center button. Here, you can see a live preview of your resource center as you make changes on it. Let's go ahead and change the title. I'm going to use Need Help as my title today, but feel free to pick anything you like. You can add multiple sources of content to your resource center, which are called modules. There are five different kinds of modules. Guide, Checklist, External URL, Code Snippet, and Survey. Let's take a closer look at each module type. First, we have Guides. You can use this model when you want to add one of your existing guides to your resource center. It is worth mentioning that the guides you are adding should be active. Now, let's go ahead and select a guide to add. You can see any changes we make is instantly displayed on the Live Preview tab. Our guide is titled Welcome, but if you want to present the guide under a different name and provide an explanation for it, you can do so by adding a header and a description here. You can even choose an emoji to represent your module. Checklists and survey modules follow the same logic we've gone through. You can hide the survey once the user answers it with this option. The next one we'll look into is the external URL module. This module is useful when you want your users to have an easy access to a link. If you select the display in widget option, they won't even need to leave the resource center and can see the content of the URL right here. The last module we have available is Code Snippet. You can use this module to trigger an action on your platform, to run a chatbot, and many more. In this case, I want the users to be able to send an email by clicking the link in the resource center. Now, clicking this module, we run the rule we've added here. After we have all of our modules set, we can create groups for a more organized look. Here, you can select which modules you'd like to include in a group. Then, you can add an appropriate title guiding your users. Another thing you can do for a more straightforward resource center is tagging your modules and groups. This way, it will be easy to differentiate each module's purpose and keep track of them. Aside from adding modules, you can also integrate external knowledge bases to your resource center, allowing your users to search and display articles in widget. Something to keep in mind here is that your articles need to be indexed by Google or Zendesk for the search functionality to work. Selecting the Search Engine option and adding the URL of your Help Center completes our integration. Don't forget to save and publish the changes. Now, we are able to use the search bar to find what we are looking for in our knowledge base, and clicking here will trigger our survey. And that's our finished resource center. I hope this was helpful.